I was legit laying on my bed and I was just minding my own business on my phone. Then out of nowhere, I end up seeing this girl sit on my face, bro. And she didn't have pants on. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another really embarrassing, but I gotta say awkward story. So this story all starts off back in my grade 10 year. And I'm not gonna lie, in grade 10, I was a major player to the point where I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of girls knew about me and they really wanted to test my limits. But before all that happened, I remember one time I was walking down the school hallway and I noticed that the gym door was wide open. Now, the only reason the gym doors in my school would be wide open was if there was like a certain game going on or a practice. And I decided to go in there and see what was up. When I went in there, I saw that there was a ton of volleyball girls just practicing for their game against our school. And boy, was I excited. Guys, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. If there's any sport that girls are really hot in is volleyball and softball. I swear, those are like the main sports that I got to say have the most attractive girls in it. And I remember me, since I saw this, I ended up texting the boys group chat saying, yo boys, there's a ton of girls right now in our gym and they're from a different school and they're playing volleyball, bro. And I ended up going in there and sitting on the bleachers and just watching their practice. I remember as I sat there, all the girls looked at me confused of why I was sitting there by myself until like five minutes later when all the boys came. And that's when they realized that we just want to see them play. And I remember as me and all the boys were sitting down, we were all just pointing out like which one was the hot one, which one was ugly, you know, just being boys, I should say. Until out of nowhere, I remember one of the girls that ended up taking a break and decided to go sit on the bench ended up basically seeing us on the bleachers and she walked over to us. She walked over to us and said, hey, like you guys from this school? Uh, yeah, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just like curious, like, is you guys' school volleyball team that good? Uh, not really. I mean, not against you, I don't think. I remember this girl started giggling after I said that and then when the other girl saw that more girls started to crowd around us boys and obviously from there we started basically talking to them mingling and kind of flirting with them and i remember one of the girls that originally came up to us in the first place sat beside me and said i was just wondering like what's your snap and one thing led to another i ended up giving her my social media account obviously at this point i realized that this girl had some interest in me but at the same time golly did she have a nice peach and i remember as i was in the middle of talking to these girls i don't know where the bell rang and me and all the boys had to go to our next class but i'm not gonna lie when after school came around that's when things got real because right after school i remember that's when the volleyball game of the girls that are from the other school in our school ended up basically versing each other and a lot of people ended up showing up for that volleyball game and i remember when the girls saw me and the guys come in to watch their game after school they were really happy and i remember one of the girls actually ended up running up to me that i got their number earlier saying bubba if we win this game are you down to like maybe like go out to the mall after school i remember i ended up shaking my head yes and she ended up going into the game and she actually ended up playing her game and after an hour later after totally demolishing her school she walked up to me and said well i think you owe me bubble tea now and me and her we ended up basically getting into my car and leaving we ended up going to the mall and stuff and i remember she was still wearing her volleyball outfit which really is attractive i don't know what it is with me in uniforms but golly do i say it really gets me going and i remember me and her we basically ended up going to get bubble tea we walked around and i got to know this girl somewhat but when it came to talking about like her to know me it was really weird because it it seemed like she already knew so much about me without me having to say anything. And at that point, I remember she looked at me and said, so like, Bubba, like, I heard like you're really good at doing the devil's tango. Wait, where'd you hear that from? Oh, like, you know, I just heard it around, I guess. Well, I mean, guess I am. Wait, I'm confused. How'd you hear about that? Oh, you know, girls locker room. Wait, what? At that point, I started to ask more questions and she started to get in detail about how in the girls locker room, a lot of girls ended up talking about me and how I did the devil's tango with like most of them which to be fair i will say i did do a lot of the volleyball girls in my high school but i remember after her telling me all this stuff she ended up looking at me and saying so bubba do you want to like maybe like you know prove it to me prove what to you that you know how to do the devil's tango uh i mean like i can i guess sweet here i'll tell you my address and one thing led to another i remember me and her we ended up driving straight to her place to go do the devil's tango obviously one thing i will say was that this was really just common for me i guess i don't know i got so used to this but the one thing i felt really off about was that this girl kept pressuring me to do it with her and it kind of felt really weird like i like doing it when i know i achieved a goal but this girl was trying to achieve goals with me that to be honest really just kind of turned me off like i didn't really want to hang out with this girl after that even though she was super attractive after 
hearing how desperate she was to do the devil's tango with me just to prove a point it made me feel weird but as me and her we ended up getting to her place and we ended up laying down and just kind of like talking and stuff and one thing led to another she kept waiting for me to initiate doing the devil's tango obviously me though like i said earlier i wasn't in the mood nor did i want to do it after everything she told me like i felt really gross and i think after a while this girl realized that and she ended up getting up and basically like walking around her house and getting a snack and me i was just laying in the bed just going on my phone just hanging out but then out of nowhere i ended up hearing a weird noise and boom right away i ended up seeing the peach of this girl literally right in front of me and she sat on my face bro she literally was sucking suffocating me and the whole time i just kept going like i was getting purely suffocated from this girl i remember she kept saying like over and over like do you like that daddy do you like that baba and i felt so grossed out and i'm like boy boy stop it and i basically ended up pushing her off when i pushed her off i remember she looked at me saying what's your problem like i thought you liked that no i'm not in the mood bro and that's when i ended up basically getting up and actually ended up leaving i left out of there so quick and i drove home and i realized that if a girl really is desperate to do the devil's tango chances are don't go for the ones that are too desperate maybe just go for the ones that you actually achieve through riz or through actually pulling them because that way it feels more like a success than someone forcing you and sitting on your face i guess i don't really know but if you guys would let a girl sit on your face and just fall for more embarrassing stories peace out guys